Nuke Duck has been a consistent win condition for this team. And he is a very solid player, but we'll talk about Odo, that more in yeah. a minute because instant flash follow through. There's the root. Joko gets a Bramble Smash out. They've got it. Shard, he flashed forward. He's looking for a Narbecue, but it's going to be the tree. That secures first blood. Joko with the flash follow through. As you said rightly, the action hadn't been in the bottom. It had been mostly up to the top, and we're right back into it again as Odawande gets a big Gnar against the wall. Kabushard throws down the equalizer, but it doesn't look equal to me. That's two on one. Odawamne with the kill. It is in theory, Febbman, of course, oh, this early start good. on those boots. He's able to move down quickly to this bottom side as they set up for the dive. Yanko's jumping in. It's on to steal back here. There's the flash. Lantern not even taken right now as Nuclear Hops in. The Featherstorm is going to go out, but doesn't really matter. Febbman, he pulls him back in with the shockwave. Here comes Odawamne. Hop the knob bar is that. He's got the ball. He's going to get pushed back for just a second. The Thresh Box comes down. Shockwave pulls in two. And the Cats come too late. Tower goes down. Nuclear comes up with a kill. On to Vander and Vitality are left empty handed. Oh. I, like, I, I like how you just all go mid and just ate them for like two minutes. <laughs> H2K as a unit turned back around. They're able to put the game back in their favor. And now we're 20 minutes later, they're in full control. Yeah, they're going to close this one out right now as the tower falls and the shockwave takes down Nuke Duck. Although it ends up being a finishing blow courtesy of Nuclear and he just keeps on the front line. The rest of H2K not far behind. A few Baron empowered minions will be enough for them to plow through this tower. Febbman's pretty beastly right now. I mean, uh, we're talking a lot about nuclear. Febbman's been big, but H2K have executed this composition masterfully considering the tough situation they were put in early on with Yankos and just plowing through the tower. Now Yankos looking for Cabo Shard. He gets them pulled on in. Cabo might go golden, but right about now, he is going to be falling down. A big shockwave pulls in for Yankos, coming in with no fear and no health bar, but he is still able to stay alive, and they have pushed Vitality all the way back to the fountain. One shut down. That will not be enough. A double kill from Febovin. Minion streaming into the base. A triple kill from Febovin. And in game number one, H2K show Vitality who is boss, taking the series up one and zero. Goes Yankos. Oh, he really wants this fight. Teleport coming in for Oda Wamne. Going to be matched by Cabo Shard. H2K decide maybe we don't want this after all, or at least we want it on our own terms. Joko goes in, but he was the one who was caught up in the Cataclysm, and now Nuke Duck's gone, bouncing against his will, with Febbovin getting the finishing blow. Cabo Shard comes in and whiffs on the Nara ultimate. So H2K, they may get stunned for just a second, but Vitality the ones who are getting shocked as Nuclear pulls those feathers out, and it's three kills for H2K. They're always there to follow up on when Yankos goes in. Yep, and he wants to go bounce, and the team says that is perfectly fine. We're invited yep. to this dance, and Nuclear's going to grab one kill. Meanwhile, Oda Wamne had his eyes on Steelback and was able to shut him down solo, and this inhibitor is going to fall. The one in the mid already down. Vitality backs against the Nexus trying to make a hero play, and H2K, they will not push their bounds just yet, but Joko says, everybody get in the pit! And he has to immediately bail out. He had no real follow-up from the rest of Vitality. They're trying to bite as much time as they can here. Nuke Doug looking to try and get damage off. He knows there's still damage in his kit. There we go. Instantly charmed Joko. He went in on a Dragon Strike once again, but Nuclear pulled the feathers out. And this will be the Ooh. final fight, it looks like, as Yankos finishes off. Nuke Duck, the rest of Vitality are falling. It's Cabo Shard, steal back the last member standing. And H2K do not lose a man. Only one death in this entire game so far. Look at it, close this in. It's under 25 minutes right now, and they're pushing onto the Nexus Tower. Flexing their muscles, H2K, one Nexus turret goes down, looking for Kabashar before the Mega Nar can be completed. It's gonna go up, but they're going bouncing, and now Febivin is going to get one kill off Joko one last time for a desperate charge, but he oh, just he didn't even can't get, him. get it done. They pull in the snake, doesn't want it. It looks like a steal back, hops back, trying to save the base, but H2K only have eyes for the Nexus right now as they look to push this one in and close it out. It is not even 25 minutes into this game, and Vitality's hopes and dreams are being crushed. Playoffs are out of reach, and H2K take the sweep.